Hi everyone, this is Hibba from My Little Journal, and today I am so excited to be sharing with you the new six ink pad colors that are releasing today at Close to My Heart. Today's August 1st, 2022. I wanted to thank Beth Ann Black for sending me these ink pads. They are gorgeous. They definitely fill in certain gaps in my Close to My Heart collection. Uh, I love the new colors. I have some favorites and we'll talk about them. Uh, once I swatched them for you, I wanted to swatch them, compare them to older colors in my collection, and kind of see uh, what you need, what you want, uh, what you are missing from your own Close to My Heart collection. But like I said, there's six new ink pads. We have but uh, Honey Butter, Seabrook, Mist, Pine, Melon, and Periwinkle. Really pretty colors. We're going to take a look. I'm going to swatch them all. Like I said earlier, I'm going to compare them to some of the ink pads in my collection. I might be using this stamp set from Close to My Heart. I think these are going to help us kind of see the colors better. And uh, the stamps are so big and large. So we're going to start with one of these stamps or these palm leaves to stamp out some of the ink pads. I might change up the stamp as I go because... Sometimes when I do swatches like this, I trim out whatever I swatch because I can use them on a layout or whatever. So I don't want to waste my paper and my stamping. So we might change up the stamp um, while I'm stamping. But for now, we are going to use this beautiful palm leaf. It is just so beautiful. And I'm going to start with my honey butter because it's the lightest. And this yellow is so bright and beautiful. I think it matches very closely to the can canary, I think. If you have canary in your collection, you might want to skip this one. I love this one more th than the canary because I like deeper yellows. So I like the mustard yellow. I like the warm yellows. I feel like the canary is a on the cooler side. So I'm going to stamp out the canary as well and show you the difference between both ink pads. So that is our honey butter. And I'm gonna grab the canary. Like I said earlier, I feel like it's lighter, slightly lighter and cooler. You do have to wait a tiny bit for your ink to smooth out after you stamp and for you to be able to see the color better. But um, I know you're probably saying they look exactly the same. They kind of do, but like I said, this one is on the cooler side. This is on the warmer side. I prefer this one more, but if I only had the canary, I wouldn't mind just using the canary, basically. I'm gonna be honest with you. So I'm gonna write them down as well, just so we don't mix them up. This is the honey butter. And we said this one is the canary. Really pretty yellow. So basically, the honey butter is a warmer yellow. We also have the Seabrook, which is another gorgeous blue. Um, I feel like it might be close to the sage. Um, maybe the sage is going to be darker, but... This is a really pretty blue. We're going to give it a few seconds to like even out. But I love, love this one. It's one of my favorites. I'm going to compare it with... Let's try it with the mint first. Um, but I do know that the mint is not close to this one. This is a more... I can't explain it. This is more like a darker blue um, with a little hint of green. This one is a blue blue, like a mint blue. So those don't really compare. But I thought if you have the mint, yeah, this one's the mint, you might uh, want the Seabrook. So that's the mint. That's the Seabrook. And I do want to compare it really quickly to the Sage. So this one's Sage. And I know the sage is darker and probably more greener than blue. Yeah, it has like a more green tint to it. But I love, love the sage. It's so pretty. So basically the Seabrook, 
is definitely a color that I don't have and will definitely fill out that gap in between the mint and the sage because it kind of does jump from mint, sage, and then I think you have glacier as well. But I love this. It's a very nice blue. Uh, I think this is perfect for like second generation stamping. Also like building up a flower. Love that color. Moving on, we're going to try the mist, which is totally different than the Seabrook. And I don't think I have anything similar to this one, um, but we're going to try out a couple just to kind of compare them. It is such a pretty deep blue. Look at that. And like from the first stamp, it doesn't even have to even out. It is just so gorgeous and crisp. Love this. Um, like I said, I don't have anything similar to this. The only thing I could think of is the bluebell. And the bluebell doesn't compare to that color at all. I think they're totally different. But I would say like if I had it in my uh, ink holder, um, I would probably put these together. But this is so pretty. I prefer this type of blue. I like that grayish blue over like a blue blue. And I just love that it has that hint of gray in there. So this one is the Bluebell. Definitely more blue. And we said that one is the Mist. Really pretty blue. Let's try the Melon. The Melon is another color that I really like. One of my favorites from the release. Is just such a gorgeous uh, peach to me. It comes off like a peach. And as you guys know, let me stamp it here. As you guys know, I love my peach. Now with the melon, there's nothing in my collection that compares to this. This is, like I said, more of a peachy color, obviously, melon. And the rest, um, like the papaya, I know is darker and the smoothie is more red, but we're gonna try the papaya. I think the papaya is the closest to them, or to the melon. I was hoping to change out my stamp, but anyways, love this. Uh, the papaya is one of my favorites, but it's so much darker and deeper than the melon. So I really like the melon. Um, as you guys know, I have the peaches membership and I always document it stamping out a peach or drawing out a peach. And this ink color is going to fit really nice to, nicely to color in my peaches. But love that. Really pretty color. Like I said earlier, it is one of my favorites from this release. And uh, it's much lighter than the papaya. So basically, there's no comparison to those two for sure. Uh, let's take a look at the Periwinkle. Now, the Periwinkle has like a hint of purple, but I find it to be more blue than purple. And I will compare it to my older inks, uh, ink pads, but I feel like this one does not have like a, any type of comparison to it because they're just so different. So as you can see, it has that purple, but it's more on the blue side. And the only thing I could compare it to is probably the Wisteria. And this one is definitely more purple than blue. And you're going to see right now what I mean. Because they are two different colors. Like that is definitely a purple and that is definitely a blue bluish purple really pretty very different than anything i have really excited for that color as well now we have one more ink pad to swatch oh i need to write these down forgot okay last but not least is the pine love my greens for stamping out leaves trees all that stuff All of my close to my heart ink pads uh, with the green are usually lighter green and my darkest green 
is the New England uh, Ivy. I know this one is much lighter than the pine. I use this one a lot. And this one is a more of a, I can't even explain it, a cooler green. So let me show you what I mean. I'm trying to get this one inked up well. There we go. It is a nice dark green, but it is definitely on the cooler green than that one. I feel like those didn't stamp well. Let's try it again because I know maybe I didn't clean my, did I? can't remember if I cleaned my stamp or not. Let's try it again. So that one's the pine. And it gives you, okay, that one looks better because you can see that blue in there. And this one's the New England. This one definitely has a more green tint to it. This one has more of a blue tint, but I guess they, you can't really see it on camera, I'm guessing. But anyways, those are the six colors that are releasing today and they're all so pretty. Let's write these down before I forget. I'm so excited for the new colors. They're just so gorgeous. And a lot of them fill in those gaps that are missing in my collection. And some of them you can kind of probably pass if you, you know, you don't want to grab another yellow. Like I said earlier, once they smooth out and even out, you can see the colors better. Look at the difference between those yellows. The canary is definitely a lighter yellow. This has more of like, you know, those warm yellows. I love this. That's why I always say wait to for your inks to even out. That melon is just so gorgeous. The mist is beautiful. Really pretty colors. And also I wanted to mention that uh, you probably noticed that they did change the look of the ink pads. Now the ink pad itself, the packaging is the same. The only difference is they added this new sticker. So the older ones, you know, didn't have the flowers and everything, but I actually really like how these look better. And yes, they're not gonna match my older ones, but really, I don't care. That doesn't bother me. I'm not that type of crafter, but I really like the new packaging. The formula's the same, everything's the same. It's just, they added a different type of sticker uh, on their packaging. But anyways, those are the ink pads that are releasing today. August 1st, 2022. As always, I'll have Beth Ann's information and links linked in the description box for you. I hope this video was helpful and helped you decide which ink pads you want to grab from close to my heart. Yes, they are gorgeous. And I know that they are kind of on the pricier side, but I just love these ink pads. They are life to me right now. <laughs> but anyways, I hope you enjoyed watching this video. And if you did, please give me a thumbs up. And if you are new to my channel, please consider subscribing. And I hope to see you guys very soon. Bye.